All right, um, so this question was asked to me recently as to how you get the um, intake plastic over the air horn. So since I'm in the middle of putting this back together, I thought I'd do a quick video on how to do that. It, is, it, it takes a little finagling, but you kind of have to, you get the lip, if you can see there's a, a double lip here for where one part of the air horn goes over the top of the air box, okay? So when you get that started, you just take a Phillips head screwdriver. I just use a small, um, this is a number one, I think, Phillips, and just work around very gently. I'm not, I'm not pushing very hard. I mean, I'm using two or three fingers to do this because uh, I don't want to tear it. And if it slips, just let it slip. Hopefully you don't mess something else up. And like I said, it does take a little bit of, it's fiddly. I mean, it just is. Uh, you can see it kind of went back on, well, back underneath. So kind of have to get it started and follow it around um, the air horn. And uh, yeah, just work at it. Now I'm using a whole hand because there is there is a quite a bit of pressure at the front end because um, the air box is kind of kicked to the back and uh, you know I would bolt down the air box but I seem to remember needing to keep it unbolted so that I had some more wiggle room so other guys may do it differently than me probably there's a better way um, than this but this is what is working for me with the tools that I have and the level of intelligence that I hold. So if you find me to be stupid, um, well then, do it your own way and dislike this video, I don't care, right? That's the attitude, right? And as you can see, within a few, very few tries, the air horn is now properly installed on the air box. So that, as they say, is that. Now I'll bolt it down. Thanks for watching. Till next time, peace out and keep it between the ditches.